We're on 3100 Chancellor's Way, and there you can see the Basilica, which is beautiful coming down the street when you're driving. And the White House with the dark blue trim is 3108 Chancellor's Way. And we're gonna walk up to the front porch. Some of the houses um, in this development have front porches, some don't. The front porches are fairly shallow, probably five feet deep, but plenty of room for a chair and um, or two chairs and a table. And before we go in the house, we're gonna kind of take you on a tour of the neighborhood. You'll note that this street has parking only on one side and we're going to bring that up because if you were to have someone to visit you there's not as much parking as you might find on some of the other dc streets but of course everyone here has a garage we're going to look back at the alley and you can see those garages of these homes and moving up the street we're going to head towards um, a triangle park that does not have a playground, unfortunately, but it is a lovely green space. And I've seen kids throwing Frisbees there and they've got a number of benches. Like I said, it's about a half a block up from the house. You can see it's beautifully landscaped and up on the knoll above it, I'm pretty sure it's Holy Redeemer College. So this neighborhood, Chancellor's Row, is surrounded by three churches or church organizations and up on the knoll there Holy Redeemer College and then the Basilica to the back and another church that I'm not sure which it is over that direction that you just saw so you can hear the soft church bells tolling um, when I got here today telling you the time I'm looking back at the park we're going to walk on down the street. And now we're going to go on in 3108. You'll note that there's a shallow entry, a couple of wood stairs, and then more tile entry. And this first level has an office or playroom den area and it's off to the right and it could be used as a guest room but there's no bathroom on this level it's actually a good size room you could put a sectional and a TV here or your office or lots of playroom shelves the nice thing about newer homes like this is they do have a coat closet. And while that seems strange to point out, we don't see a lot of coat closets in our older homes. And then walking out to the garage. And this garage is a one car garage. It has a lot of great custom storage that they've added and plenty of room for bikes and outdoor toys as well as your car. And there's one hot water heater here and one HVAC system here. But there are two HVAC systems in the house, which we do find in row houses, um, having one upstairs and one on the bottom level makes it more comfortable. We're gonna go up the stairs. They just refinished the floors, as you know. And the powder room is right here on the landing. It's a nice size powder room. And then there's gonna be two more stairs. And now we're on the living level, which is an open living room with a fireplace and little built-ins on either side three windows and we're going to look back at the dining room and the open kitchen and it's very comfortable for a six-seater table the kitchen has a lot of counter space these are Maytag appliances likely original to the house granite countertops tile backsplash And it 
does have a pantry. Now when walking out on the back, there is a very shallow deck and it's funny, Crystal asked me if it was big enough for a grill and I said no, but it actually is. It just feels incredibly small. It's not a place you would spend time. It's a space you would only go to use the grill. Um, it's much too shallow for a chair. I'm walking back through. There's downstairs into the powder room. And we'll come over here and look at their small built-ins. They're just shelves on either side, but they're actually really nice. And then we will walk upstairs. And on the second floor, there are two bedrooms and two bathrooms and the washer dryer. So looking back down the hall, that door to your left is the washer dryer. But we're gonna go in the master bedroom. Uh, this bedroom is large enough for a queen or king size bed. Looks out to the back alley of the building. And it's plenty big for a six foot dresser. It also has a walk-in closet, which again, we're not gonna probably find in a historic home. Um, it's a good size and it has storage that goes very high up. Walking into the master bath, it's got a warm gray tile, porcelain tile floor, Carrera marble countertops, and you can see the medicine cabinet off to the side. It has a good size shower with a bench and a darker tile floor. And then the toilet is tucked behind the door. It's kind of a nice arrangement with the double sinks. Plenty of storage. And then walking down the hall, here's the washer dryer. This is an LG, which is a nicer brand, LG full-size washer dryer stacked. And then there is over here to the left, before we get to the front bedroom, there is a small linen closet. It's a good use of space. And then this is the smaller bedroom on this level. It is large enough to comfortably fit a double. I'm not sure about a queen size bed, but it does have an ensuite bath, kind of basic white ceramic tile, both on the floor and in the tub, but it's a great tub for kids. medicine cabinet, pedestal sink, one window in the bathroom, and then two windows in the front bedroom. And they look out onto Chancellor's Way. So much like the master bedroom closet, looking down there, um, this closet also has custom closet systems that I suspect these owners added. It's a large closet and then we'll go up to the third floor. And here is that second HVAC system. And there's a family room on this level. And it has a nice size rooftop deck. We're gonna go out because it has great views. You can see the one church kind of over there to the side. And then we're gonna look back and you have great views of the Basilica. It's 
So it's a really nice space. And then there is a deep closet right here over the stairs. It does do a step up due to being over top of the stairs. And then walking into the third bedroom. And just like the other bedrooms, it has carpet. This one, they've done a custom wall. It also faces the back. This one has a smaller closet than we've seen in the other rooms. But it also has an ensuite bath. And these are kind of basic builder grade tile finishes. The walls and the floor in this and that bathroom are the same tile. We'll take one more view of that family room and head downstairs. So we wanted to get one more shot so you could see again this is the first floor office playroom family room area and looking down you could put a small entry table behind the door, it's about a foot deep. 